Okay, technical difficulties, sorry about that. As it turns out, my computer just really can't handle 1080p video for a stream, but... Lord is 720p should still look plenty good for a stream, you know. Um, especially, this is an N64 game, so it's not like it's gonna look much better than this anyways. So, uh, because I had to start later, I had to go get groceries and, you know, you know how that is, going out to do anything lately. Uh, I'm gonna just be doing the next two levels, which are... Hold on, I know this. Rusty Bucket Bay and Mad Monster Mansion, which are two of my favorites. Uh, Rusty Bucket Bay is my favorite, but, um... So, we're gonna do those two, and then, uh... We're gonna... 
we're gonna save Click Clock Wood and um, Runty's the the final battle for the next next stream, I think, because yeah, I don't I don't have as much time as I was hoping to. But after I finish that up, I'm gonna be doing Runty's Revenge, which is the GBA one that like nobody remembers, you know, unfortunately, but should be good. All right, let's get going. Actually. I'm at a point where I can actually use the magic cauldron. So let's do this. Oh! The mumbo tub is still there? Okay. I mean, I don't really need it. Uh, well, yeah, I'm 100% is 100%. I mean, technically 100% in Banjo-Kazooie is just all of the notes, honeycombs, and uh, jiggies, but as this goes, what's the point of 100%ing if you're not gonna 100% it? Got it. And up, 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 jump. In the, in. It's a little weird. Let me know if there's any, like, audio or video weirdness going on. Um, there's not a lot I can do about it at this point, but I'd like to know for future streams so that I can deal with it at some point. Whenever that point may be. Whoop, whoop. Oh, oh, through the mouth. Through the mouth. And then let's see. This was... Well, that's the entrance to Mad Monster Mansion Pass there. And this... Uh, and the entrance to Gilby's Desert. So we need to go up higher. To actually open up Mad Monster Mansion. This is the part of the game where I'm a little... A little more dicey on. I, uh... Yeah, for a long time I never actually played this part myself. I always watched, like, my uncle play it. My uncle being the one who really got me into video games as a kid. Um, there we go. Alright. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure this is the Rusty Bucket Bay area. But... Pretty sure the Mad Monster Mansion is around here. Ooh, watch out for that guy. Big fish. Big fish. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh, that's right. I keep trying to hold B and A, but uh, that was not a thing until the second game. You have to. Uh, I probably should have, uh, probably should have gotten some air before I came in here. Whoops. Oh, let's hope I don't die immediately. Ooh, air! Air! <sighs> okay, got it, got it, got it. And, right, we gotta jump around. This whole business. Which is not that difficult. I'm pretty sure they already taught us how to do this in another part of the game, but I'm getting it done. Here it is! Mad Monster Mansion! Which is the perennial favorite. This is the one that most people say is their favorite because it's spooky. And I really love spooky stuff. But, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I love it. I don't have a problem with it in any way, shape, or form, but it's just not my favorite, necessarily. Gosh. Missed the mumbo token. Gotta go back. Gotta go back. We're 100%ing. I know it doesn't affect the stats, but, you know. Let's do it. Why not? Oh, right, you can't actually destroy those in this one. Right. Um, were there any secrets down here? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's just the eggs. Just, oh, wait a minute. Actually, I think that's where I came in from. 
which is fine. That's where I need to go next anyways. So, you know. Man, the, the air bar in this one is so low. You get, like, an extension on it in the next game, and it's... It's real easy to get used to that, because in this, it, it's dropping so fast. Whoa, 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 whoa! Watch out! Watch out! Ah, uh, there was a mumbo token! Hold on. Let me just get close to it. Whoa! Come on. Down, 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 down! Ah, uh, damn. Okay, that's fine. It's not like Mario where the big fish just swallows you whole and you're done. You get a little, you get a little leeway. Uh, right, so I'm pretty sure I can't do much else in here. Until I get some other stuff going on. So let's move back onto Mad Monster Mansion. like a first person view whatever we'll be back here because that is the next level after mad monster mansion oh wait okay i'm pretty sure you go with the flight pad to do that right something like that let's get this guy whoops uh, okay. nope 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 uh hold on it's a uh, y nope b b it's b there we go. Wake the man. He has arisen. I love these little magic holder guys. They're so cute. They're so cute. Okay. We're in her for right now. I don't need her yet. I will. Later on, I'm definitely gonna need her for some stuff. Right, the flight pad. Let's go through there because, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get. The, uh, watch out for the bees! The bees! I don't think there's a way to get rid of them, so. Just gotta kinda. run that one out. Yeah. Alright, so from there we're going to Mad Monster Mansion, which is through here. I'm gonna have some water. Stay hydrated, folks. Ah. Oh, oh, this is very dark. Um, ooh, ooh. um, looking the best I can. It's it's extra difficult to see dark stuff with a bright filming light shining directly in your eyeballs. So, my apologies. If I uh, mess this up, there we go. Mad Monster Mansion. All right. We got this. We got this. Mad Monster Mansion is a bit mazy. Um, so this one might take a little bit longer. Uh, these last three levels in general, like especially Click Clock Wood, because there's just so much opportunity to just fall and have to redo a ton of progress. Um, it's it's gonna take a bit. Whoa, whoa! Do not want to leave quite yet. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything in these corners. One thing I really like about the sequel is instead of having, um, instead of having the pads like that that let you leave, it's an actual like diegetic thing. Um, uh, to, uh, diegetic is just like in universe, so. It's, it's a thing that actually exists within the level that lets you, uh, that helps you get in. Like, you actually walk through the entrance to places, and that just makes it feel so much more like a real universe. More than anything, like, Banjo-Kazooie is really fun, but it's a little disconnected 
Whereas the thing I really loved about Banjo Tooie is that it feels like a real universe. Like every, all of the worlds are connected to each other. Everything's just like solidly together, and it's 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 so expansive. It feels so much more like fleshed out and real. I love it, man. I love it so much. Is it good in a gameplay sense? Eh, you know. Maybe not necessarily. Some of the levels are kind of designed in a weird, sprawling way that makes them kind of difficult to uh, difficult to parse and remember. But that just—I don't know—that just draws me in so much more. Like having to actually take the time to learn an actual place rather than just messing around in a, a little little course it feels good it feels real freaking good okay whoa, whoa, whoa. watch out watch out for the ghosts can they see me through the walls um okay i have to find a switch or something for that hmm oh, watch out watch out <sighs> well it's doing it again i Apologize, I don't know why it does this, but my Elgato will just cut the audio from the game on occasion, and it'll just come back just as randomly as it left, so we'll uh we'll be hearing that again in a little while. Yeah, this is just not a great streaming computer. I gotta at some point get a decent computer for actual streaming. By decent computer, I just mean like an okay computer with a really good graphics card pretty much covers it. Uh, oh yeah, you gotta... Yeah, tiptoe. Whoop! Ah. Uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't go back to sleep, so I gotta... Ah, uh, what's the trick here? Um, was it just going slow? No, there's another one in another game where you're just going slow. I'm pretty sure you gotta, like, drop in on him. So, we will be back to that later. For now... If I might turn my, turn my uh, monitor up, I really cannot... I cannot see this. I also really like these very poorly done bats, where they like... They're like a dog? I don't know... I don't know who designed the bats, but... Listen, listen. You got it wrong. But I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You know, those bats are still very fun. And they're, I mean, they're unique. I would not confuse those with bats from any other game. So, kudos on that, I guess. A mansion. See, they call this a mansion. And while it's like, there's this nice house and there's that, that chapel over there. This isn't a mansion. This is a big house. And yeah... I know, you're gonna say, well, what's a mansion then, if not just a big house? Listen, the mansion is a very big house. This is just a regular big house. This is a standard, large house. Oh, ah, oh, dang it. Alright, I gotta do the, the, uh, claw. Strut, Kazooie Strut, I forget the name of this. Oh, you can climb up that side! Oh, that was too thick. That's okay. I figured it out eventually, so... Still counts. Oh, oh, watch out! Watch out! There it is. Uh, I think you can... Yeah, you can break the glass. Get on up here. Oh, there's a skeleton. Ooh, watch out. Get him. Get him. Oh, yeah, you. What's your thing? Let me talk to you. What do you want to say? I know you want to talk to me. <sighs> oh, right. That's a way to go downstairs is the, uh, the pumpkin that you become later. I will admit the pumpkin is 
my favorite of the uh, the transformations. And it's the last like good one because the bee the bee's cute and everything, but it's eh, it's not great. It doesn't really let you do much, which is disappointing because the other ones let you do quite a bit. I guess, well, mm, the termite like only lets you go up the one hill, so maybe not that. But, whoa! Okay, forgot about these guys. Man, that's scary. Like, I get, we found, we saw like guys like the, the bones. The bones. Really and, uh, ooh, oh, oh. Oh, wait. Uh, do I have to come up as the pumpkin? I think I gotta come up here as the pumpkin. Alright, mental note. Gotta come up. Ooh, it, it, it. Gotta come up here as the pumpkin. Okay, and that's the one that's in the middle. Yep. Middle of the wall. Whoa! Ah, dang it. Oh, where do we end up? Over here. Okay. Let's continue on the outside of the house because there's not a lot I'm going to be able to do on the inside currently. Uh, and this is a good thing with the Xbox version. Uh, the, the honeycombs just hang out indefinitely. It, pretty much indefinitely as far as I can tell. So that is very useful. Uh, let's see. Ah. Sneaky, sneaky. And we can go through. Ah, right, 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 right. Okay. It's coming back to me. It's just, it's... I haven't played in a couple years, and this section of the game is also not one that I grew up with as much as the other parts. Like, Mumbo's Mountain, I can 100% that, no problem. Like, I have that... I have that down, but this I'm, uh, I'm just a little rusty on. Okay, let's go into the shack. Oh yeah, this is the one that's like a. Uh, this is the one that's like uh, a Ouija board. That's the word. I think you gotta. Ah, here we go. Tumblr the Mighty. Solve the puzzle and you can take this infernal thing that's stuck under me. Why are you, why is it stuck? Um. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, I get it now. Oh, okay, can't, can't touch, yep, yep, okay. Nope, let me back, let me back up. Man. Whoa, whoa, watch out. Whoa. Uh, where's the end? Where's the end? Woo! Woo! And. J uh, J is over here? Right? No, it's K. Uh. Then. Joe. Shoot. Then. Woo! Then, Joe. K. Whoa! Oh! Just interesting to see. Yep. A. Oh shoot! I might die on this one. Ooh, this is a tricky one. Z. Oh, watch out! Ah! Oh. Ashes to ashes. Kazooie to dust. I believe it does not reset anything in this version when you die. Just let me check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm still good. In the original, that would have been a huge setback, because you have to go and find all the same notes again, because it only saves the most that you've done. Whoop. Get out of here. Get out of here, skeleton. I'm not interested. Whatever you're selling. Here, in the maddest of monster mansions. Whoops, okay. Messed up the depth there. Let's try that again. And the yoink. There we go. Good. Okay. And then, 
Whoop. And then I don't think I can get through here. No. Okay. Uh, or, oh, actually, what am I thinking? You go like this, and then you... Get out of here. You go like this. Yeah, there we go. I'm getting it. Uh, actually, I think there was something over here that's more prudent. Let's see. Yeah, the well. Um, let me get these notes first. Whoa. And then we can also do this. Oh, there's more notes over there. And... Uh, I could use some eggs, I guess. Oh, yeah, I could definitely use some eggs. Wow. I forgot how, like, how few eggs I left off with last time. Shabam! And we here. In the well. I believe it's just a swim. Swim down. Yep, and then we. Whoa, watch out. Watch out. Uh, 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 nope, 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 nope. Okay, I gotta be a little more precise with this. That. Watch out. Oh, don't let him tickle you. They're gonna tickle you. That won't be so good. Faster, a little faster than that. Oh, oh, the bucket is touching the ground, so. Oh, come on, give it to me. I know it's right there. Uh, uh. Man, I'm playing real fast and loose with all. Whoa, actually, speaking of which. Oh, I need air. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I play a little fast and loose with some of these later levels. When in reality, I should be a bit more careful because they're a little more difficult. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Okay. Do not want to die again. Oh. And a, and a, and a, whoop. Okay. And a whoop. Okay. I guess it reset my lives, because I know I had a lot more than three when I left off. I think that's all the musical notes. I don't want to come back here. I don't have to. I should check. Um, all right, well, I got to get the jiggy for sure, so let's swoop into there. bucket out the side, right? Nope, can't do that. That is for, I believe, the pumpkin. I can't wait to just be a pumpkin man. Doesn't that sound like a nice life? Just being a freaking pumpkin, dude. I don't have to worry about nothing. Just hanging out. Maybe you get turned into a jack-o'-lantern. Hey, it's okay. That's just the way life goes sometimes, you know? Sometimes, sometimes you turn into a pumpkin. Sometimes you get turned into a jack. You just gotta roll with the punches, you know? You don't know what cards are gonna be dealt until you dealt them. Uh, I don't know with this. I gotta get on top of the maze to do it. I don't think there's any shock pads around. Shock, shock a jump pad. All right, we go like this, and then we immediately Zooey. Okay, oh, I gotta get it, and we're out of here. We're out of here. No, 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 no. Saying okay quite a bit this time. I'm, I apologize. I uh, it's been kind of a long weekend. It's been fun. Um, the, I got this awesome board game table 
this week, which I'm going to use for Iggy Kids whiteboard games on YouTube. Uh, go watch season one. But uh, season two is going to be a lot better. <laughs> Um, I, I'm still happy with what happened with, with uh, Season 1. I think Season 1 came out pretty good for, you know, a first attempt at something like that. But Season 2, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be a lot uh, happier with, I think, because I just, I'm getting actual, actual equipment, actual camera. Like, the most serious equipment I had last time was, like, a real tripod. Otherwise, like, it was just a bunch, it was my phone and all sorts of junk, so. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be good to actually treat things a little seriously. Um, it's an awesome, huge board game table, and so we had a big, big old board game night where we played, uh, we played, which one is this again? B? Oh, oops, I missed. Um, oh, and I'm out of eggs! Okay, I gotta find some eggs. Uh, but we played Trailer House on the Hill, which is a really fun tabletop game if you haven't played it. Um, it's, it's very strange in its pacing, but I, I really enjoy it because it's just, it's weird. And it's really fun in its weirdness. Um, and it's spooky. It's like the thing we're playing now. So, aha! I see that. Yeah, sneaky secrets. Um, but, yeah. So that's um, oh, hey, that's, a, that's an Easter egg there. That's, um, Captain Blubber. I think he. Whoop! I think he's his name. He was, uh,. He was the protagonist, I want to say, of the original um, concept for Banjo-Kazooie, which was going to be Project Dream, and uh, instead of that they went with Banjo-Kazooie, so in the sequel he's actually a character, and he's just getting drunk in a bar, crying about how a bear stole his dream. It's, it's funny. I didn't get it as a kid, I was like, is this, is this like for a, a mission? Do I need to do something here? No. It's just for fun. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna pause for a second so I can drink some water. But yeah, we put. Oh, it just splashed all over my face! We played some Betrayal at House on the Hill. Super fun. Um, played some Root, uh, which Root is my favorite board game. It's very complex and weird. If you haven't seen or played Root, maybe get ready for a little something in uh, Whiteboard Game Season 2. Because that's definitely, that's going to be the season finale of season two. I'm, I'm just going to say it here because it's my favorite game. But it's also huge and complex. And I will do all of the expansions. So it's going to be like a 40 minute video. Maybe, probably even longer. It's going to be massive. But it's, it, I'm so excited for it. So yeah, I need to get a real camera and stuff for that. But uh, let me think. Uh, so we played Root. Played a game of that. And then we finished off with uh, a game I've had for a long time, but I never really quite got into, um, the metagame, which is, it's basically just, um, it's kind of, uh, think like Cards Against Humanity with white cards and black cards, but the white cards are culture cards, which is just things, like things that exist, like, um, uh, like, Pong, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, Google, uh, The Wizard of Oz, like it's just things, and it has like a little blurb about what they are, and then the black cards are opinion cards, so it's like which kicks most ass, and which, uh, which would, um, and, uh, it's the best example of blank, and like you get to fill in the blank, um, and so there, it, it, that's what it is. And then there are seven games that you can play with that set of cards. Uh, we only played one meta quilt where you kind of like, you, bit, you put like one opinion card down and then you add uh, culture cards to it and then you can combine those and like connect them. But then if somebody thinks they have a better one, excuse me, if someone thinks they have a better culture card, they can challenge you, and then you both debate which is a better example of the thing that you did. It's so... It just it turns into these huge, silly arguments. 
They, uh, I, I love it. I, I, I enjoy, um, arguing as, uh, as a, uh, I, I, there's specific types of arguments that are incredibly fun. And those are the ones that are just really stupid about pop culture that have no, like, bearing. The ones that nobody, like, is going to have hurt feelings over. Those just big, super impassioned arguments about stuff like that. Those are super fun. And that's all that game is. It's just a ton of stuff. We, we like, we're arguing. I, I put it up on Twitter, but we were, like, arguing uh, which kicks more ass, Moby Dick or, um... What was the other one? Hello Kitty, I think? No, Miss Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man or Moby Dick. And I ended up losing that one, I think. Or no, I won that one. Moby Dick got to stay in. Um, but yeah, it's just really, really silly, stupid arguments like that. And it's, it's a ton of fun. And that's just one of the games. I think I got it for like five bucks on, uh, on uh, clearance from a Target. So, really good, really good purchase, really happy with that, gonna play many games of the later. And that's the thing, it's also, it's not a very long game. Like, it only takes, like, a few minutes. Um, I'd say, if you're interested at all, uh, go on YouTube and watch uh, Shut Up and Sit Down. They, uh, did... They did a playthrough of it, and it's it's a pretty short video. Like it's it's like two games of it, for um, which ends up being pretty fun, and it'll give you a good idea of what it's about. I definitely suggest if you have like big groups that you know you ever want to play a, a game with. Meta game is a super fun game. I also have a game that I really desperately want to play, uh, called Nakosu Dice. Um, when the coast dice, I guess, I, um, I don't know Japanese super well, but it's just, it's a trick-taking game. Oh, crap, I've been missing these, haven't I? Whoops! <laughs> the audio is a little weirdly off-sync for me, so I don't notice until a little late. Um, but it's just, it's a trick-taking game like hearts or spades or whatever, but it also uses, uh, dice. So the dice are like cards. And it's like the leftover dice is what ends up being the the Trump suit and the Trump number. So it's like whatever color, um, whatever color the leftover die is is like gonna be any other uh, color. But then whatever number it is beats any other card, including ones of the same color, so they're like colorless and they're just the number now, and then the one that is that same color and number as the, the dice is like the best card. You cannot beat it. And it's, oh man, I'm, I'm super excited. I, I, I'm not great at trick-taking games. I played Spades for a while, and I like that one, but you need four people and our group is pretty much just the three. So I will, um, I don't know. I think once I get, like, an actual camera, and, like, when I get the stuff for whiteboard games, it's like, I'll also have the stuff to just film tabletop games, so I will probably do some streams of just tabletop games. I might just do some solo root from time to time, honestly, because the, the, the bots that they have now are pretty good. There it is. There it is! Um... So watch out for that, because my first passion, like, I, I love video games. My first passion has always been tabletop and board games. I, I love them so, so dearly. And I, I love letting people know about them, because a lot of people seem to think that board games are just, you know, Monopoly, uh, Trivial Pursuit, Risk, if you want to get real deep into it. Like, that. people think that Risk is a hardcore game. And it's like, this is like, it's barely the top of the, it's barely the tip of the iceberg, the top of the barrel, any of that. There's there's so many better games. And we're in the golden age of board game. Where was the thing that I was looking for? Um, we're in like the golden age of board games right now. Like the best board games in the world or in history even are being made now. So it's totally worth getting into board games now. Like it's, it's pretty, 
it's fairly inexpensive. Like, it's cheaper than video gaming for the most part. And it's just, it's such clever ideas. Like, there's so many things from tabletop gaming that I wish they would uh, take into account for uh, video gaming, and they just have not. And it's so unfortunate, because, like, it's, there's so much you could do with this. There are some games that do it, you know, a lot of, um, uh, like, Civilization is a big example. That's one where Sid Meier stated that he specifically was inspired by, um, by board games. Like, it's, it's just, like, a huge board game that couldn't really ever exist on a real table. Although, I can't remember the name of it, but there is this one game, which is, uh, it takes up, like, a full basketball court, and it's, like, literally takes, like, years to play, like, real-world years, and it's, um, yeah, it, 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 is it good? I don't know, I'm never gonna play it, I don't have enough time for that, but if somebody, if somebody does or has, please let me know, because I would love to know about it. Um, there's also stuff like Mega Games, where it's like every, it's like a, a, a whole thing, you like rent out a town hall, and you like set up a bunch of tables, and then have everybody playing their own different board games, and they're interacting, and it's like this whole story, and it's role play, and it's strategy, and it's deduction, it's, they sound so amazing. Uh, they do a melodic convention, so I, I hope to do one, uh, at this next PAX Unplugged? I'd like to go. I, I went to uh, the 2018 PAX Unplugged and I really loved it. Um, but uh, I, I unfortunately did not have the funds to do it in 2019, so maybe I'll end up doing that. Who knows? I, I, there, there's a lot going on in the world. Who even knows if we'll uh, be able to have a PAX? Things, things are pretty, pretty wild right now, so. Fingers crossed, things are chill again by then. Ah, uh, wooter. This is one of the games, and we'll get into this, but in Banjo-Kazooie uh, Grunty's Revenge, this is one of the levels that they actually reuse. Like, you can, um, Mad Monster Mansion is, like, in that. Uh, Grunty's Revenge, uh, to explain, um... I can't get that one. Um, Grunty's Revenge is supposed to be set between this and two, but then it's technically actually in the past because you have to go back in time with Mumbo's magic because that's where Grunty is. So you get to see like uh, the the Briegel homeland where Kazooie's from. You get to see Mad Monster Mansion in the past. It's cool. It's cool, dude. It's it's a full-fledged Banjo Kazooie game, but people don't give it the same don't give it the same fair shake because it was on the GBA and they might not have heard of it. It was also a really late GBA title, I'm pretty sure. Like the DS had been out for quite a while at that point. Um, where's that third pillar, Nintendo? You said you said what was it? What was it they said? They were like, we're gonna have three pillars. We're gonna have this. Um, is there not a way to do this? They, they're like, we're gonna have three pillars. DS, Game Boy, and console. And then after the DS came out, they're like, actually, the Game Boy Micro. It, it went from the DS to the Game Boy Micro. And then with the Game Boy Micro, they were like, let's not do this anymore. They, they just gave up on it. And it's like, aw, man. I would love to see what a new Game Boy was. But then... They've actually dropped it to just one p uh, pillar now because the um, the Switch is a handheld and a console. Oh, there's that guy again. Um, that's that's strange. Are they? My question is: Are they gonna make another DS, or is it just gonna be broken down into handhelds that can be played like a console? Because I'm fine with that. I've always been a handheld gamer first as far as, like, video games go. Like, obviously, tabletop games when there's room, but tabletop, or uh, blah, 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 blah. handheld games are my, like, bread and butter as far as video games go. So I would, um, 
Yeah, I would like to see more good handhelds there. There aren't a ton! Uh, mainly because the library is always put to the wayside. Like, I'm, I'm frustrated that they always do that, because, like, that's... The, place, the PlayStation handhelds were actually really, really good. Like, they were super powerful. They had awesome interfaces. They had great controls. They were super good. But they, uh, they decided, nah, let's not, basically. They were just like, yeah, nah, we're just not gonna support that, give it any games or anything. It's like, come on, guys. The PS Vita, the best games for that are just the ones that are ports of, like, larger games, but it's like, they're amazing ports. They're like full console games. In, um, in a handheld format. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe... I do not remember what's going on here. I think I'll come back to that. Um, but I just... I, 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 I just don't know. I just don't know. At least, you know, if this ends up being, like, the last major handheld console from, like, a major publisher... I'd be okay with that, because the Switch is a solid, solid system. Like, it's super strong, it's good at both being a handheld and a console, and it just, it looks so good. So, who knows, who knows what the future of gaming will hold. I, I am always a proponent of making games that more people can play, because more than anything, like, say what you will about Fortnite, I'm not really into shooters, uh, personally. Like, I like Doom, but that's, that's, like, just classic, classic stuff, you know? You can't... How can I call myself a gamer if I don't like Doom? But, uh, yeah, the... The, the Fortnite, the, the cool thing about Fortnite is that it, it was free and playable on just, like, a tablet. So that means that pretty much every kid of this generation who can even borrow their parents' tablet was able to play the same game and can relate on the same level with this one game. And that's uh, that's so beautiful to me. Like, that means that this is a cultural touchpoint for this entire, like, new generation of kids. Ah, I, I, I love it, man. Okay, I don't know how else I was supposed to get that. Ah, okay, here's how you do it. Right. I was thinking in the sequel, there's like a snake. There's like a snake that you, uh, you have to sneak up on, and it's just walking slow. Or jumping, right? You know, sometimes that's also an option. Alright. Uh, how many does that make? Six? Really, we're already up to six. Wow, I'm going through this one whoop, a bit faster than I thought I would. Um, all right. Let's see, there's still the one with the organ. Um, gotta get some more of the notes. I haven't gotten anything with the pumpkin yet, though I like to regulate the that stuff. It's own separate thing. Flying, why am I flying here? What's going on? What's going on? Is there something? Oh, that's why. It's pretty cute. Um, seems a little unnecessary, but you know. Ah, <sighs> also, I have so much to talk about on my Animal Crossing stream because I did a lot of stuff in Animal Crossing recently, and I made a purchase. I know. Okay, I didn't like do the whole thing of like. Uh, the the whole thing now of like the weird creepy slave trade of the villagers where everybody's um everybody's like selling them off for real money and then like trading them and stuff that's weird i don't care for that but i really wanted bow so i went with another method because uh with animal crossing most of the villagers have amiibo cards so they have the little like reader for the amiibo in the um like implanted into just like a card and on ebay you can get that turned into a keychain for a pretty affordable price 
that still has the NFC card in it, so I bought a little bow keychain. And I'm gonna use the amiibo to get him in my town. I... I know, I know, it's, it's, it's so shitty of me, but like, come on, I, I just want that freaking deer so bad, he's my favorite, I, I, I don't think Poppy can, like, the thing is, my experience with Animal Crossing, I played a little bit of New Leaf, you know, and I, but I played a ton of Pocket Camp, I'm still really big on Pocket Camp, uh, whoop, whoa, oh, no, I gotta get, think, ah, uh, Um, yeah, Bo is my favorite from that, and, uh, I'm, I am gonna use that, that keychain to get him there. Which is unfortunate, because I kind of messed up. I was out on an island, I saw Drago. I was like, oh, I still have space. I will get Drago, and then I will still have room- wait, this is the wrong place. I will, I will get Drago, and I'll still have room for Bo. That will be cool. Uh, I hadn't paid attention to the fact that Cat had already bought- my other last slot. Uh, so I'm gonna have to kick somebody out. I don't know how much control you have over who gets kicked out of your Animal Crossing island. I'm probably gonna kick Cat out because A, she's new, and B, I don't like her very much. But that means she might get to go to Coco's Town, and Coco really likes Cat. So somebody gets to enjoy her. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I got it. But, okay, that counts. <laughs> okay, oh, right. See, this is what I'm saying. The Mad Monster Mansion, the part that's actually called the mansion, is kind of tiny compared to this huge organ room. This place is massive. And you're gonna tell me that that other spot's a mansion? That is a large farmhouse, my bro. What are they farming? Uh, shrubs, apparently. Mm. I can't judge them, dude. I'm not a farmer. Maybe shrubs are actually a uh, high-priced crop. Maybe they're just self-sustaining themselves on shrub greens. That's probably healthy. Get vegetables. I don't know. All right. Let's see. How's this work again? I believe I got to just watch the hand. He will do a little. He'll do some music. <laughs> the way he... That's cute. Ah, oh, you can't see it. It's behind my head. He's going like... It's silly. Whoa. Oh, I gotta watch. Oh, okay. It's one. So that's G, D, D flat. Okay. G, D... Oh, wait, I actually have to, like... Oh, okay, I actually have to, like, keep up with them. I thought this was gonna be, like, the tip-top ones. Okay, once again, I'll play my tune. Okay, here we go. So, it started with G. I'm not... I'm not the best at piano. I don't practice enough, but, uh... I know enough to at least recognize which keys are which. So, that helps a little bit. In fact, once I'm done with this, I'll give you all a little quick tip on how to tell the keys. Oh boy. We're going faster. Alright, here we go. Alright. We got... A sharp... F sharp... Or, well, I guess that'd be E flat there. A. D. D e flat. A. F. B. I did it! I did it! What's my prize? Nice. 
Okay, so. <clears throat> Let me just take a sip of water. So, to tell what keys are on the piano. Very simple. You gotta look, they're always gonna be grouped like this in bunches of uh, three white keys and two black keys, and then four white keys and three black keys. So it's always gonna be two black keys, space, three black keys, space, like that. It will always be like that on a piano keyboard. So, the way to tell to start off is that it's always going to go from A to G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, and then it repeats. But, pay attention to the black keys, so these two, two, like two chopsticks, chopsticks start with C, this leftmost one is C. Three black keys, which is more than chopsticks, so fork, I guess. This is the way it was taught to me. I, I don't really get... Three is more like a fork than two, so that's like a fork, starting with F, that's F. So it's C, D, E, F, G, B, A. And then these are just the sharps, so it's like C sharp, D sharp. It's just the sharp of the one to the left and the flat of the one to the right. So C sharp and D flat are the same key. It's just a, a half step between. And so that's how you can tell them apart. And C, D, E, F, G, B, A. Now, whether or not that helps you depends on music theory, but once you once you have that, it's a good step into at least remembering where they are. And then you have to read them on the music sheet, like, uh, we have a music sheet here. That is, oh god, what key is that? Oh no, that's just C. Um, so on this bottom one that Banjo's nose is right next to, uh, that would be uh, DC... D, C, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's no ledger line, which is a little confusing. Um, because this bottom one on the top treble staff is C. That's middle C, which is the C closest in the little keyboard, this one. And then each note is one white key. But then if it has a sharp, you just go to the black key above that. And if it's the flat, you go to the black key below that. That's pretty much it. Being able to remember that is, it just takes a lot of practice. That's the thing, it's like, you can get good at music, it's just practice. That's why I'm not very good at music, because I don't practice. I need to practice more. You may notice in the background that I have like, stuffed animals. Those are on top of a sheet that it's being used as a dust cover over my keyboard, because I've used it so little that it just gets dusty. So I'm just using it as a shell. Yeah, I'm, I'm lazy. I know, I know. I'm doing this. This is some making content, I guess. God, content. Content is such a terrible word to describe, like, a thing that you were creating. Like, how much... It's just, it's so unpleasant to just be like, what are you making? Content. My, my stuff is contained. I don't like it. I don't like it, but there's like not another way to describe it for the most part, so I go with a... Whoop, 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 whoop. Ah, okay. I think I can... Oh, snipe it! No! No! Ah, crap. I was hoping I could just grab it. Okay. Ooh, oh, it's very dark. I can just barely see... Okay. Got that. Get out of here. Get out of here, skeleton. Oh, my frame rate is real, real uh, choppy. I apologize. I just need to get like an actual streaming computer, which I already said earlier. But it's like, yeah, this this MacBook that I'm using is good. It just can't quite handle um, what I'm trying to get it to do. Ah, see, lobby. Buying more tech, that's that's the that's the V. Just gotta be constantly upgrading your equipment. What else is there to do in this life? Ah, that's what the other Okay. That's what the 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 
plate pad is for. Nope, nope, nope. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Nobody wants these bats. Alright. Oh, there's a couple more. Just gotta watch out. These bats look so silly. I already said it. It's just. They just look like like they got dog faces, which is real weird for a uh, bat design. How am I to get down? I just actually have to like fall and take damage. There has to be a safe way down from here. I guess I could just go to the over to the organ to be safe. What's the safest I can hope for? There's probably something I'm totally missing, but whatever. I'm gonna take like a damage, I think. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, secret! Sneaky secret! Hell yeah. Alright, we go here and Kazooie. Hello. Yeah, whoop, whoop. Can't catch me. I'm a bear and a bird. I'm a bear and a birdman. I don't know. What was even the point of Gingerbread Man? It was. Wait, okay, so, uh, the point of the gingerbread man was that he ran so fast and then he just drowned or whatever, or something, or he got eaten, what was it? Or it was about trust, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, I didn't even like that, I preferred the stinky cheese man, y'all remember that one? That book of, like, just parodies of Aesop fables and stuff? That one was funny. Okay. Then there's gotta be a way to get on top. Sorry, I'm already thinking like past this part, but there's gotta be a way to get on top of the hedges so that I can get the last few notes and uh uh get to Mumbo. Uh, damn it. Hold on, I gotta like lure this guy away. Hey, hey, follow me, bud. Over here. Just gotta, gotta get him out of the way. Yep, yep. Oh, I see you, bud. Okay, okay. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, I gotta lure him like really far away so I can get that last note. Oh, come on. Please tell me he goes further. Get out of here. Oh, come on. Please. Get... Remember, I just gotta go. I gotta go. Wait. Oh, oh, crap. Uh, another game I experienced for the first time recently was uh, Journey. I'd never played it, and I didn't play it this time. I, I played a little bit, um, but because it's free on PS Plus, holy crap. Come on, stop, camera, stop. Okay. Uh, sorry. Got a little frustrated there. Um... Uh, Coco played it, and it, it's... God, that game is beautiful. Like, I understand the accolades that it got. Like, I remember it being huge when it came out, and people just losing their minds over it. And I didn't get it at first, but like... Wow, yeah, that, that game is amazing. It's so clever. The thing I notice is, like, the characters have so much personality, because the characters are just you. They are you and the other players. And the way that you act, the way that you move, it just creates this emergent behavior that creates such vibrant, vivid characterizations purely through gameplay. That's genius. That is absolute genius. Like, I, I, am, I am so, so impressed by that game. Okay, I can go over here, maybe? Oh, god damn it, how do I do this? I can't convince him to go any further away. And if I do, he's just right back there. Hold on, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna just fly to it. This is nonsense, dude. This is... This part's so hard. Oh, man. Let's see, what time is it? I'm I'm only going to um 
I'm only going to be going until about 7. But I will be finishing up next time. This just, it, I started way later than I planned to. Um, so, yeah, next, next stream, which will be next Sunday at 3, should uh, be the rest of the game after whatever I finish up here. I should be able to finish up at least Mad Monster Mansion and start up Rusty Bucket Bay. But, uh, we'll find out. Oh, this is such... So not the way they wanted us to do this, but you know what? Shouldn't put it in. Oh, come on, come on. Up, 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 come on. Are you kidding me? Please, I just want the music. I just want the music in my life. Thank you. Oh, that's a bunch of music notes on the That's pretty cute. Oh, that's a pretty cute idea for your video game. Put some stuff over there. All right. Well, all right, it's pretty good. Okay. Dealt with. Oof. That part is shockingly difficult. Oh, man. Oh, I'm hating that laugh. That's gonna be in some nightmares. Some rage nightmares. Angry dream. Ah, here it is. Okay, I can get up on top. Oh, it's prickly. Oh, it's prickly. Oh boy. Oh no. I think part of this is that the main enemy of this stage, these skeletons, don't give you any honeycombs. Oh, hey. Me from Boca. That's what I said. I like how they just look kind of uh, wary, and specifically Kazooie looks upset. Kazooie looks disappointed in you for not being able to to do it. Listen, man, I'm trying my hardest. I'm trying. I'm trying real hard. It's difficult. It's real tricky. Okay, maybe on top of here? Will this help me out? Um, oh yeah, there's a little ledge, so this is how you are meant to do this? Oh, a sneaky secret. Um, okay, that's all that's in here. Oh, is this area, like, coffin shaped? Yeah, kinda. It's a little lumpy. It's not coffin shaped. That was just a pipe dream. That they would have something so clever. There. It's your game. Oh my god. Can I kill him? Nope, but I can protect myself for at least a minute. where Mumbo's is. Let me, like... How do I get over in there? See, okay, there's this hole. Right? Is there... Oh, oh, wait. Okay, I can get over... Over that. Right, 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 right. Well, that's all I get this time. With feather. Okay. I'll accept that. Alright. What you got, Mumbo? What you got, boy? What you got, my boy? What you got, my boy? Um, oh, are there no secrets in here? There's gotta be at least one. There's gotta be something in here. A single gold feather? Yeesh. You're getting stingy, buddy. Uh, oh. Why? Why is the one? Because that would have been B on the, uh, N64. Hello, I am Pumped Can. Mm. Make good soup, stop. Leave me alone. I'm just the Pumped Can. And then the pumpkin doesn't have any special ability. He's just small. He's just a little guy. So... You're just gonna go and do some of the, uh, some of the stuff that we couldn't do as large. Let's see here. Okay, I gotta slip through, slip through this barrel. Is 
that gives me some. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I can't reach that. Is there no way to jump higher? Are you kidding? Really? I think I gotta, like, go down through the pipe. So, um, I gotta go into that maze. Find a way up? What's the way up here? Hold on. Hold on. I know this game. I know this game. I've been playing this game for flipping, you know, amount of time. I don't know how long. Uh, oh shoot, oh shoot. That is not going well for me. Uh, It. All right, let's try that again. Oh, good. Uh, it does start me off as the pumpkin, so that's that'll save us some time. Uh, shoot, nothing's like busted up though, so I can't really. All right, so let's see. Whoa! Rocking out of the gate of me, jeez. Relax, bud. It's not that big a deal. Is there another way in there? Hmm. There's gotta be, there's got to be a better way. There's got to be someone with the technical know-how to lead us to a new land. No, not me and KG. We don't have the cognitive capacity to lead. All right, we'll do it. We'll lead as three kings. Three kings? Oh, that's a movie. Oh, yeah. I'm hecking me in the game. Okay. Huh? Um. Uh, sorry, I just went off on a tenacious D tangent there. Oh man, I haven't caught up with their more recent stuff. They made like a whole animated movie, movie. That's uh, I mean it's their comedy, but they drew it themselves, so it's um. It's about what you'd expect for that, but you know, it's not, it's not the worst, certainly. It's just not the best. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, come on, how do I, I get, gosh, gosh, I, yeah, this one is eluding me, and I'm pretty, Oof. This stream is not going well. I had the technical difficulties, and I'm just... Uh, I had the technical difficulties, and now I'm just having trouble with this pumpkin boy. So, uh, okay. So, like, yeah, I might honestly not even finish this one. God, I'm at a terrible pace. Well, I will definitely finish the whole game in the next stream. That is my promise. So, I gotta at least get through this. How much time? 42 minutes. I can knock this out in 42 minutes. I have confidence that I can at least finish this in 42 minutes. Uh, oh, hey, wait a minute. Is there a little hole there? No. That's just the fence to the outside. Come on, come on. Okay. Now gently. Because I do not. What? Ah! This is, can't be the way you're supposed to do this. But I'm already trying. I mean, it has to be. Yeah, because, like, she was talking about the thorns. Oh! I overcorrected. Hmm. She was talking about the thorns, and I'm not getting hurt by the thorns as the pumpkin, so I have to presume that that's, like, his ability, aside from just being small, is that he can survive the thorns. But! Oh my god. It's a... It's a... It's a real pain. It's a real pain. To do this. Okay. 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 Okay.
careful. Mm, careful. Okay, okay. Okay. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it well. Doing it, doing it, doing it good. Oh, you know what? I'm supposed to do it from there. Yeah. Yeah. Whoop. God, whoop. Oh, I'm taking weird risks. I do not need to do that. Whoa. Oh, come on. But you know what? I think actually there's an easier ramp in here. No. No, I'm too short. That can't be the way. There has to be a better way. There has to be a better way up. Come on. Come on. I know video games. There has to be a, an easier way up here. Whoa. Oh, that situation. Oh, come on. Come on. There has to be some way. There has to be a way up on top of this roof. Nope, nope, nope. Bats. 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 How do I go up? How do I get on the roof? How do I do it? Uh, come on, come on. I'm smart. I can do this. No. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try. All right, one more time. Okay, okay. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going for it. Okay. I'm here? Where do you expect you to jump from? Nope. No, they did not. Yeah, I can't double jump or anything. Can't do the little flutter. Oh, well. I just don't... I don't remember this level nearly well enough. Uh, I'm looking like a fool on the internet. Not now, Mom. I'm looking like an idiot for views. Can I? Whoop. Ooh. Ah! This can't be it. Can it? Oh my god. I don't know. Ah. Uh, I. I just don't know. Uh. Yeah. I'm just feeling real dumb. I'm feeling really dumb. My brain is way too tired. It's really starting to hurt. So honestly, I think I'm gonna call it for now. Ugh. My apologies. I'm losing all of my cred as a Banjo Kazooie fan that I couldn't accomplish this. Especially after putting out all the tweets and stuff that were like, I'm gonna maybe finish it today, but on click clock wood. I didn't even get to click clock wood. I didn't even get close. God, excuse me. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that here for today. Next Sunday, I'll make a lot more progress. Maybe all the progress. Maybe beat it. Who knows? We'll find out. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, it's just an off day for me. I feel, I feel, I feel terrible about this. Let me tell you. I feel real bad. I'm trying to mask that with a comedic voice. But I do indeed feel real ashamed. <laughs> um, I'm okay. I will be back tomorrow for the Animal Crossing New Horizons uh, check-in stream that I do every Monday. And I'll be at 3 o'clock. On Wednesday at 1 o'clock, I will continue working on my Super Mario Maker 2 world, which I already have the first level pretty much done, and I have eight more levels to build. So we will uh, 
we will see how that goes so tune in for that and then next sunday at three o'clock sharp eastern time i will continue this that might be the last stream might have a second stream for this game but after that every sunday i'll be doing the next banjo thing um and i'm also going to do a voice acting advice stream again uh this time about acoustics and how they work because I feel like a lot of people who try and get into voice acting or just like audio anything, anything that involves audio, they don't know what they're doing um, because they don't really understand acoustics. So I just want to explain the basics of acoustics and all that. Um, so yeah, I think I think that'll do it. Oh, and I just got a second viewer. Almost makes me want. No, no, I can't continue. I'm sorry, I'm, I failed. But next Sunday, next Sunday, I will I will actually finish this up. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching later if you do on either this or Iggy Kid Twitch streams, which is the uh, archive channel that I have on YouTube. And I also have Iggy and the Ape on YouTube. You can check out any of my social media on the bottom bar here in this nice customized overlay that I have. Thanks for showing up, guys. Sorry it couldn't be better, but I, I promise better in the future. Bye. Good night.